Vista with RA3D Redux. And today we're going to talk about field centric drive versus robot centric drive if you're doing swerve on your robot this year. This video on first updates now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. SOLIDWORKS is free for FIRST teams. Over 80% of U.S. engineering schools and 370,000 plus companies use SOLIDWORKS to design great products. SOLIDWORKS can help you design a great robot on desktop or on the cloud. Go to SOLIDWORKS.com FIRST to register your team. Stryker is one of the world-leading medical technology companies and is driven to help make healthcare better. Stryker's commitment to innovation has made it a career destination for engineering professionals. Click the link in the description box below or go to careers.striker.com to discover your next opportunity. So first, let's start with a robot-centric drive. What a robot-centric drive is, it means that when the driver says forwards on the controller, the robot moves forward relative to the, for relative to the robot. So if the robot changes directions, forward will also change. And you can see that on the controller. Depending on where the robot's pointing, forward moves in a different direction. And it drives like a tank drive would drive. So it's exactly like a tank drive. Forwards move the, moves the robot forwards, and then the other stick turning turns the robot. The only extra thing you get is strafing. Now the alternative to that, which a lot of high-level teams use, is field-centric drive. So what field-centric drive does is when the driver pus pushes forward on the controller, the robot always moves in the same direction, no matter which way it's pointing. So that means that if this is forwards, the robot will always move that way when the driver pushes the stick forward. Even if the robot's rotated, it will still move in that same direction. And field-centric drive can really help you in picking up game pieces. Because if you're coming up to a game piece and you know which way the intake needs to be pointed, that can be separate from you actually getting there. Now one thing to keep in mind with implementing field-centric drive is it depends on your gyro on the robot. So if you have a gyro that's inaccurate or if you have a gyro uncalibrated or one that's mounted near a bunch of other magnetic stuff that can like throw it off, like if it's really close to motors, your field-centric drive can drift over time. So while field-centric drive can really help a driver out, it can be a lot harder to implement and get working consistently. Since field-centric drive depends on your gyroscope, you need to make sure that forward is really the forward you want. So if you pick up a robot, turn it around to place it on the field or something, that means forward's now changed. So it can be really helpful to give your driver a button that resets the field-centric drive to whichever the way the robot's pointing. So they can do that at the start of a match. So now we're gonna drive the robot around in a figure eight and we're gonna do it both field-centric and robot-centric. So first, here is robot-centric. And now field-centric. So even with field-centric drive, you could, there's a variety of controls you can give your driver. So the one we showed you today is the left stick strafes the robot forward, backwards, left, and right. And the right stick turns the robot. So left on the right stick turns the robot one way, and right on the joystick turns the robot the other way. A different way you can implement a rotation is you can just you can take the angle of the right joystick and say whichever direction the right joystick's pointing in is the way the robot will point always. Something to keep in mind. 
Thanks for watching and you can check out more videos from RI3D Redux on the First Updates Now YouTube channel. This video on First Updates Now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. Stryker is one of the world leading medical technology companies and is driven to help make healthcare better. Stryker's commitment to innovation has made it a career destination for engineering professionals. Click the link in the description box below or go to careers.stryker.com to discover your next opportunity. SOLIDWORKS is free for FIRST teams. Over 80% of U.S. engineering schools and 370,000 plus companies use SOLIDWORKS to design great products. SOLIDWORKS can help you design a great robot on desktop or on the cloud. Go to SOLIDWORKS.com FIRST to register your team. Thank you to all of our suppliers and sponsors for the Robot in 3 Days Redux and Kettering Bulldogs programs.